Hey guys, um, I just got an order from Atmax and, uh, thinking about sharing it with all of you. I'm very impressed with their packaging. Uh, they shipped pretty quick. I used a personal check to pay for my order and, uh, took four days for the check to get through and, uh, five days to ship. I missed my shipment the first day, got it the next. So, yeah, it took about 10 or so days to get here. Um, this is the biggest part of my order. I'll save that for last. Um, this is what I ordered last time from them. I got a Canadian maple leaf here. 9999 nine, 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 pure. Um... One ounce, obviously. Uh, Queen Elizabeth on the back, the second. Um, this is 2012. Face value of $5. Same with this coin. Same thing. I got two of these ones. So, oh well. This one I bought off of somebody for 20 bucks, while silver was like $30 an ounce. 1989 it's a silver American Eagle, one ounce, face value one dollar, United States Bullion. And here's what else I got from Atmex. This was today's order. I got a pretty neat money clip. I will say it was overpriced. The coin was not included, and the clip itself and all this stuff around it was around sixty dollars. Um it opens up like so and it goes all the way back in here you can obviously see it's stamped sterling I don't know if my camera's getting that or not but uh... it says sterling and that's another way of saying it's 92.5 percent silver and what you do is you put your money in here and it clamps in so yeah I thought that was pretty neat and uh... It's one of my favorite pieces. And then I got a uh, keychain. And the coin was not included, but the keychain alone was around $30, $40, I think. And uh, it's a one ounce American Eagle. Um, the bezel and the chain and this hook thing is all 925 silver, sterling silver. And I will say this was overpriced too, considering it only weighs 10 grams, roughly $10 in silver. Um, today's spot price of silver is actually uh, $27.82 an ounce. But I bought this all when it was like $29 an ounce. But I'm not worried about silver going down to like $20 an ounce because it'll probably never do that. And even if it does, I'll hold on to it. Because I'm that confident that it'll go up again. And this is another one of my favorite pieces. 20 one-ounce American Eagles from the United States Treasury Mint. Um, I think, I believe, that these came from the West Point Mint. So, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure... These came from the West Point Mint because I think that's where most of the bullion is minted. Sorry about that, I had to open it up. <laughs> it takes a little force to open it up. Those are the American Silver Eagles, just like the coins over here. And, uh, 20 of them, so... My finger's right there, all the way down, there's 20. So yeah, that was really nice. And it just snaps back on. Nice and tight. And then, I got this black box. And in it, there is a 2012 $100 quarter pound silver note. I thought this was an awesome piece of silver. It was more of a novelty item, considering I paid $40 over spot price for this. So roughly 10 
yeah, ten dollars per ounce over spot. And uh, that this is a certificate of authenticity. Nothing much though. Got to keep that still. And uh, here is the uh, hundred dollar bill. I haven't opened the case because I do not want to uh, finger it up with my fingerprints. Maybe with gloves, but still, I don't want dust and debris going into it. I want to keep it as pristine as possible. Um, right there, Federal Reserve note for Troy ounces nine 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 fine silver. And on the back, we've got one hundred dollars. And on the big hundred there, in Independence Hall. So yeah, I thought that was a really cool piece of silver, and uh, I bought it just because of that. And last but not least, my most favorite that came in to the mail today is my 100 ounce Johnson Matthew silver bar. This thing is a beast. It's pretty big, so it's very chubby, honestly, for its size. Um, 100 ounces, 999 fine. Right here, um, I can't really read that because it's so small. Um, I wish I could read it. I'll probably get a magnifying glass up to it. Right here, JM, two mining sickles, or whatever you want to call those. And, uh, Johnson Matthew. And, uh, this bar is poured, so... You're going to expect um, casting marks. And uh, I think this is where they filled it from. Right here. You can see the little indention. That's where they probably poured it in. Casted it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty decent size. It's really chubby. So you got a lot of weight in one part of your hand. So that's about how big it is. Hand comparison. Um... It's a hundred of these Silver American Eagles, basically melted down into a bar, and stamped Johnson Matthew. So yeah, that's my hundred ounce Silver Johnson Matthew bar. I paid um twenty nine fifty for this at the time, a hundred dollars over spot. Um. Yeah, so I had some money laying around, and uh, I felt that I would spend it, and I didn't spend it. I invested it in silver, and if I ever need money, I mean, I've got some, but uh, now it's all in silver, and hoping it'll go up in the next few years or something like that, and uh, when I turn 18, 21, or whatever so age, I might need a down payment on a home or a new car. Hopefully I'll be able to sell this for three times what I purchased it for. Maybe even more. I have high hopes for silver and uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching my video. Comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.